Hello folks and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 La Resistance. Well, this is kind of strange. Obviously you can see that we're going to be playing Portugal in this uh, campaign, but it's uh, the strange thing is it's been quite a while since I've actually played Hearts of Iron on my channel. There are a multitude of reasons for that, mostly laziness and, uh, you know, I've had a lot of other things in the way, but I have uh, kind of just... As time went on, the game actually developed so much that I became uh, kind of not bad at it, but worse, uh, because it's changed so much. In fact, once uh, there, there was this naval DLC thing that came out uh, a long time ago now, and I wanted to play Mexico because it had they had added something to Mexico, but the particular campaign, which was uh, taking Trotsky to power and then defeating the Soviet Union was so difficult with the stability system and the naval p stuff that I just could not, I just got kind of like, ah, uh, forget it, you know, it's too difficult for me now. But I think I, I need to just dip my toes back into Hearts of Iron and then uh, we'll get the hang of it again. The reason I'm going to play Portugal is, of course, I've been kind of moving over to South America here, because the new focus tree has some pretty interesting stuff. I think I might actually turn off historical AI focuses just for fun. I want to see what the world does uh, without that stuff on. Basically, the Iberian focus trees have been revamped, and uh, so has the Portuguese tree, which means that now we have a lot of options. Um, of course, not just your usual naval stuff, military stuff, but we can, you know, of course, go communist with some really cool stuff over here. We can go uh, inter intervene in Spain. We can go for neutrality and do an Iberian sum summit, which I guess would form an Iberian pact. But you could also form some sort of Iberian union. Um, you can go fascist and kind of like lean over to one side or the other. Uh, and then you could also go ahead and uh, actually become a monarchist. And with the monarchy tree, not only do you get back your monarchy, but you can actually reunite with Brazil. And uh, a lot of people have done it on YouTube already because I'm kind of late to the party, but I think this is kind of fun and uh, I'd love to tr give it a try. I mean, personally, I'm half Brazilian, so in a way I'd much rather have played Brazil and done it the reverse uh, way, but Brazil's focus tree is not revamped. It's still the same as it was, which is very unfortunate given that, you know, you had this cool focus tree to one country but not the other. Hopefully they'll be visiting South America sometime soon and uh, we'll see what they do. Alright, first focus, we are going to go here. I think we're going to try to do this as fast as possible. I'm kind of following the tips given by Feedback Gaming on his video about how to do this as fast as possible. So I'm just going to kind of follow that route uh, in case you're wondering how I go about this. So in some ways it would have been cool if you could do this and go fascist and communist. You can't do this if you go communist, like have back Brazil, of course, but if you go fascist, you get a claim on Brazil, so you have to go militarily. Uh, however, if we do this, we can start a war in Brazil and actually integrate Brazil that way. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get access to anything else super interesting, which means we'll have to be non-aligned. Um, although, we might join the... I don't know if we'll join the Allies. This is the thing. I think it would be fun to kind of like flip factions, and it might be possible, we'll see what we can do with it. Germany has gone ahead and remilitarized the Rhineland, which means uh, they're still on the historical focus, although that might just like, obviously be a, one of their first, yeah, it is like, <laughs> one of two options. Opposing Hitler, it would be fun to see the I just do oppose Hitler. I don't know how what the chances of that are though. Ethiopia capitulated. Interesting. All right, let's get uh, the uh, uh, royal heir back into Portugal, pissing off some Republicans. Ooh, the royal wedding has taken place. The uh, two sides of the house have uh, 
made their peace, and people are talking of restoration at the wedding. Uh-oh. Oh, the Civil War has begun. All right, uh, so the monarchist elements are back in Portugal. Now we can begin. Appealing to Brazilian monarchists uh, will help pave the way for the restoration of the Brazilian throne. We must ensure that they will prevail against any opposition, of course. Neutrality Act has passed. Here we go. We are going to begin uh, what will begin a civil war in Brazil. And interesting, because of our actions, Brazil has now actually technically become an integralist. Uh, it's still Getúlio Vargas as the um, leader here, but he's become the leader of the fascist party, whilst the non-aligned party is the uh, action for imperial restoration. Ooh, way historical foci to the forefront here, as the Dominions have decided to unilaterally break with the crown. The Empire is in crisis. Nationally, Spain wants help. Sorry, I... no. Oh, a mutiny! They're trying to take our ships to fight on the Republican side. So we have 14 ships right now. Let's see how many we lose. Nothing? Oh, it's being crushed. That's good, I guess. I don't know who I side with in the war. Ultimately, I'd love to own all of Iberia. And I wish that this focus here, because there's a focus here that talks about the Royal I Iberian Alliance. That's an alliance, unfortunately. I wish that was like an, a union. That would be nice. Anyway, the Empire of Brazil is done, and we are going to send our troops to um, to help out our, our little puppet here. So again, I'm just following Feedback Gaming's uh, video on how to do this quickly. Uh, we're going to promote monarchism in Portugal. And this will actually decrease our weekly stability. Our stability is already really low because we've now joined a war. However, uh, eventually if we win this, I think we'll be able to do the restoration of the monarchy without a civil war. I mean, that's optimal, right? I don't want to fight a civil war at home after fighting in Brazil. As Christmas arrives, our troops are on their way to Brazil. They're reaching the coastline. Aw, oh, look, they've started attacking us. Isn't that cute? Ah, lovely encirclements being formed here. I think we'll be just fine. And once the war is over, the stability modifier will disappear, and we'll able to actually restore the monarchy in Portugal. All right, we're promoting the monarchist cause in Portugal, so now we can't really fire this one off yet. Otherwise, we'll end up in the civil war at home, so I'm going to go for our industry. Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. Well, this game is going to be exciting. A lot of different things are happening. All right, we've captured São Paulo. There are a couple more divisions here in the mountains that are annoying. But uh, we'll move up some troops here quickly, and then I think the war should almost be over. Ooh, the commune has risen. Don't think they'll last, unfortunately. There we go, the Empire of Brazil has uh, won the victory thanks to our great efforts. And uh, hopefully things uh, stay strong and well here. This will be done in a couple of days, and then we can... Uh, do the restore um, restoration of the monarchy, right? So, stability is 56. Perfect for us. Ah, oh, this is exciting. Alright, here we go. We are going to do it. Uh, right, game base stability minus 10. I'm thinking, oh, but then that goes up, I guess. Alright, that's good. Oh, Edward VIII empowers the king's party. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice flag, Great Britain. Pretty cool. You're gonna go full monarchist, I guess. Uh, National Spain destroyed the commune. Uh, so now, looks like the Republic is definitely gonna fall pretty quick. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria. Alright. Ah, she circumnavigated the globe. Quite an achievement. Alright. I just remembered, right, so the, all of um, Britain's 
the minions have declared independence, which means India is a free country. Now, they'll probably end up getting pretty powerful, but I, it's just because I started looking, it's like, what are we going to do in this campaign, you know? Obviously, we might have to fight in Europe, I might fight nationalist Spain for control, but that might be difficult. However, we do have options of, like, maybe going for China, India, uh, maybe even fighting Britain for control of Africa. Who knows? We do get some claims in Latin America, but I wonder if we then will anger the United States, and I wouldn't want to do that. Oh no, what is this madness? Everyone wants some sort of provisional government? Speaking of India, <laughs> yes, you're not re yet ready, no. Uh, Goa is mine, you see. Sorry, I had to go into the British accent. You know, when you're talking about empires, it's just what you've got to do. So, Guinea-Bissau, you're not ready. China, sorry, Macau, not ready. Angola, of course not. I know this is pretty clear, but I just want to reiterate, obviously, when I'm playing Hearts of Iron, what I do does not reflect my own political opinions. It's just a game, guys. Uh, boom! Restoration of the monarchy. I wonder if we get an event. So, this focus should reunite us. Uh, it does say at the end of this text here that we would press our claims by force if we had to, but I doubt they'll refuse, will they? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, Nationalist Spain has won the war very quickly, too. Uh, I wonder... See, in the old days, you could actually see how many troops you were... Uh, the other countries might have had. I don't really know how to look at it now except for manpower and then production. Of course, this is only helped if you also have agents on the ground. Oh, here we go. Divisions. 16 to 86. That's a big discrepancy. Well, well. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Carlist Spain. Now that is not something I had considered, because we are on a historical... Hmm... What to do? What to do? Because now I'm torn between interfering and helping the Carlists, or interfering, or letting things play out to weaken the Nationalists, maybe have the Nationalists win and then interfere, or maybe have the Carlists win and then interfere, because... Oh, yeah, actually, if the Carlists win... They might not have enough troops. And they won't have the aid of the Fascists. Ooh. This could be something. I must say, I love this deep blue, almost Prussian blue color. It's just... lovely for a map painting game. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this flip in a couple days. Not that this green isn't beautiful too, but you know, that blue. Let's let's, let's have a look. Three, two, one. Wait, did they not accept? Oh, of course they did. Oh, good God! I thought I had. <laughs> I was gonna have to go to war. Now look at that: United Kingdom, Portugal, and Brazil. Mmm, mmm. Look at that blue. Glorious. So, I've done some research. Looks like this is absolutely useless unless I want to fight the United States because despite what all everyone has a lot of confusion about the US uh, guarantees and stuff, basically we have to be guaranteed by the US for it not to apply when we attack someone. We are not technically Brazil anymore. We are the United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil, so they don't guarantee us and therefore if we declared war on anyone, I think we would end up at war with the US, and I don't really want to do that because, you know, fighting the US over uh, small stuff is not exactly my idea of fun, uh, especially fighting as a small country early on. So, what rests us to do? If we do this tree, yeah, definitely we'll end up in an alliance, which is kind of sad and underwhelming, uh, but if we do... Uh, remember, Olive uh, Vance will end up at war, so I think we'll, we're going to wait until either side wins that. 
Um, and so what rests us to do is to either go for colonial simulation or develop our industries. I want the extra research slot because that's just great. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and then eventually I think we'll we'll go for these true uh, these three here, and also developing oil in uh, in Angola. So let's get that research slot. The Polish-Romanian alliance. Wait, what? You didn't actually accept. You're not in the faction. I'm confused. There we go. The Empire of Portugal and Brazil. Hail the Emperor. I honestly really wish this tree on the right here would end up leading to a union. Like, yeah, sure, have the Iberian Alliance first, but then have some way so that we can, like, unite our kingdoms. I mean, that would be really cool. Or even, aw, oh, unite the kingdom with Britain? That would be even more dope. Although, that's, like, stretching uh, <laughs> realism to quite uh, an extreme extent. Now, I think we're, I'm going to go with the Captain of Industry here, just for that extra construction speed. Eventually, I want an infantry expert there, and maybe a military theorist as well. Uh, we'll see how much time we have to do stuff here. I don't think this fight will end very soon. Oh, the Carlos have been pocketed up north, it seems. Or split. Ooh, Roosevelt is doing intervention in Asia. So, either war plan orange or yellow. Very interesting. Ah, the Rome Protocols have been signed. Interesting. Pakistan has declared war on India. So, it looks like India has gone ahead and split up. We'll see who, uh, who survives this. It does look like... Ooh. Ooh, interesting war. Oh, damn, the war might be ending very soon, actually. Uh, I should probably start doing the, uh, these folk guy over here. Austria has been anschlussed. I wonder, Germany isn't really going for a very ahistorical route, are they? Although they are improving relations with Sweden. Interesting. Uh, right, what am I going to do next? Right, yes, I want these claims. Poland declared war on Lithuania. Ooh. Oh god, the timing on this might be... It's gonna be really, really tight. I wonder, though, how many troops uh, Nationalist Spain will actually disband, because right now, anywhere between 11 and 69 divisions. Now, if they have less than 20, I'll feel safe in attacking. If they have anything more, I don't really know. Treaty of Bombay, White Peace. Lithuania has been the next. Okay. Now, I don't know. Because I technically. I do have a claim on Sevilla and Extremadura now. Uh, but. For some reason, I can't declare the war. Of course, I don't really know if it's worth declaring war now or right when they surrender here. Uh, I think we're going to wait for the surrender. Mostly because of the amount of units. Germans at war with Czechoslovakia. Uh, we'll see how long they last. As much as I always love mass assault, I think this time we're going to go with uh, superior, superior firepower. Alright, the second nationalist victory. So, what is your... Ah, there we go. You have mm, way less stuff. But I cannot declare war on you. Why? Like, it's actually stupid. I have claims. Uh, I guess we'll just wait for this to finish. But, yeah. Maybe I should have done this before. Because, like, attacking right now would be optimal. It's 8 to 19 divisions. Alright, I think here we are. Although, wait, available war goal. It doesn't really cost... Does it cost political power to... Go to war? No, it doesn't. Excellent. Yes, Vieta de Hosha, welcome to the staff. You are now going to change this war for us. So, National Spain, 8 to 19 divisions. I almost feel bad for you. I know they're veteran divisions and stuff, but I think we might be able to win this if we're lucky. Francisco Franco, your time is up. 
Alright, that's one encirclement. Uh, they're obviously moving troops over to the front. 5 to 23, okay. We're good. We're good. The war is going pretty well. Uh, obviously, like, I'm not really fighting the naval battles because... Don't really have the oil to do that, but... Uh, yeah, I've encircled a couple of units. The Italians are now here, which is a pain. But I don't think they can concentrate their units everywhere. So eventually, I think we're going to win this. Whoa! Russia declared war on the Soviet Union. Let's see. Uh-huh. Okay. Why did that happen? I wonder what did you fire? Ah! It's an officer revolt. Uh-huh. We are so close to having... To winning this war. We just need a couple more victory points. Oh, 98%. So, two more victory points? Yeah, maybe Zaragoza and then we might win this without even capturing Barcelona or Madrid. That should do it. Zaragoza is ours, and uh, I think we're going to have the peace deal now. Take all states and turn, and... oh. This is going to be glorious. We took 27 states and 11,000 equipment, which is pretty nice. Uh, we now have 74 factories at our disposal and a global empire ready to go. I think this might be an excellent point, actually, to wrap up the episode because we have done very well for ourselves. And, um, well, now only... Other fascist countries stand in our way from do world domination. Uh, yeah, actually, what should we do? I kind of want to know what people want to see. Really depends on how things are going to play out here in the rest of the world. But uh, I want to hear from you guys. And uh, in the meantime, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.